the first thing you got to do is, is figure out your environment. So everyone is different, right? You, you have to figure out where you feel best and most creative and you're ready to get into that mode. Um, I, I separate. So I have, I'm here in my basement office. I have a desk over there in the corner. <clears throat> that desk is like where I pay bills and taxes and the stuff I hate, right? Hate that stuff. I don't write my email there ever. My, my, I never in the creative process over there. For me, what works is I like getting up in the morning, first thing in the morning, I'll get up 5, 5.30 in the morning, get showered, just get out of the house and go to a coffee shop. There's something about the, the background noises, being around people, the energy, the smells, having, having my little drink there, that warm drink, it just puts me like in that zone. And I don't check email, I turn off instant message, all that stuff. Um, the only thing that's on is I keep my phone on vibrate, so, but if my wife calls me, I, I answer because I'm terrified of her. But besides that, I don't answer the phone and I just get in the zone and I'm like, whew, take a deep breath and I just write, I start writing. Now, in terms of the actual mental process, here's what I do. Um, I like to have email have a point, um, so eventually there's, look, to make a sale, you need some type of CTA, a call to action, right? Whether it's click here to sign up for our next webinar, click here to come to my live event, click here to buy my ebook, click here to sign up for a coaching call, click here to apply for a coaching call, click here to join my membership site. Whatever that CTA is, you're gonna get them from email to something. So often, not every time, I would say 90% of the time I sit down and say, okay, what's my call to action for today? Where do I want to lead people to? So if it's, hey, we're just announcing our next Freedom Fest event and that's where I want them to go. So now I know what my call to action is. I know at the end of the day, I'm, I got to kind of get them over to Freedom Fest. It's got to tie in somehow. So I always start, start the beginning of my email with something personal, whether it's hey, I'm here at the coffee shop, or I only have a few minutes because I'm coaching my kids baseball in an hour, or you know, last night it was a late night, a movie night. So something personal to show that like, I'm, just, I'm just like you, I'm a real person. But it should always relate to your brand. So my brand is you know, freedom, right? You, you can't get any more of a brand than what it is. It's freedom with a Y. That's the correct way to spell it, by the way. Uh, you, so maybe someone watching this is a triathlete. So it doesn't make sense for you to say, oh, I was just, you know, watch Netflix for two hours and be like, you lazy bum. Like yours may, and, and obviously you, look, you always, always, always want to tell the truth. I never make up stuff because it just feels fake. It's inauthentic. So if you're a triathlete and later today you're about to run three miles, say, hey, you know, I'm excited because later today I'm doing three miles, but I'm doing a new course and it's got a hill, you know, a 45 degree angle. Or maybe you're not running today and last night you did, hey, yesterday I had an amazing run and a 10 mile bike and my legs are sore because I forgot to do this stretch. And then you get into the content, into the meat, into the teaching. Like, what's that thing that you're talking about? So with me, maybe it's about, uh, I like to look at what happened yesterday. I like to look at what's happening today. So for example, just this morning, I, had a, uh, I met up at, at the coffee shop with my good friend, Peter Hoppenfeld, who happens to be my business attorney. And we're just chatting. So I could have let off. I could have said, hey, I'm meeting with Peter in an hour and, uh, you know, in case if you attended my last Freedom Fest, he was actually one of the speakers and he talked about blah, blah, blah. And here's your learning lesson of the day. If you're going to trademark, you know, do a trademark search first and blah, you know, forget the Aussies, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so, and then I could have led to, oh, by the way, speaking of Freedom Fest, our next Freedom Fest is happening in six weeks. If you haven't registered yet, there's 20 tickets left, there's five tickets left, you know, get your ticket, click here. So that is the, you know, in a, in a one minute nutshell, that's kind of what my email looks like. It's not, I repeat, it's not, hey guys, I just got off the phone with my good friend Liam and he's selling another product and it's, you know, $99 or sorry, you could get it for just 47 today. And then, and, and this is the key to making a million bucks. And then tomorrow, oh, my good friend Johnny, he's got a great product. It's 197, but it's only, and, and selling the same schlock over and over and over again and hammering your list. That is very, very short term thinking. Um, I, don't, I never say I'm hammering my list. I'm, I'm entertaining them. I'm educating them. I'm, I'm raising them up. I'm lifting their spirits. I'm inspiring them. I'm helping them live a better life. And that's what the purpose of your email is. You can sell. And people, when you do email the right way and you truly, you stop writing like a copywriter, you start communicating like a friend, people will like that. They'll vibe with it. And you can say, hey, look, click here to get tickets to Next Freedom Fest. And if you can't make it, that's cool too. It's no problem. Like, I'm not going to do this fake scarcity. Like, if you come, come. If not, that's all right. 
I'll see you tomorrow on an email too. Re regardless, regardless, I'm here for you.